All right, what up? <clears throat> what up, Libra gang? Libra legions? All right, I hope you like the new format, the new structure to the channel. Okay, my posting times are 9.28, so every more every day at 9 a.m., 2 p.m., and 8 p.m. Okay, Libras will always be at 9 a.m. Angel number 928, coincidentally, it also uh, is my birthday, September 28th. So we'll just start every day with that Libra vibe, okay? That justice energy. Let's get straight into your reading. Stick around. Somewhere along this video, I will be introducing a gift. So you want to make sure you watch it all. I'm going to be doing a timeline for you, Libra, okay? Start off with the Nine of Cups, followed with the Star card, okay? Then, oh, look at this. Nine of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Beautiful energy right here. Okay? Look at this. You're golden. You're radiating. You're just that it person. You're it, right? <laughs> you're the shit, Libra. Look at you. Radiating, golden, right? You're that golden energy. All right? You're like this hidden treasure. You're the diamond in the rough. With the star card, a lot of your miracles that you guys have been wishing on, or a lot of those dreams that you've been wishing on, right? Those intentions that you have been setting are receiving the justice that they so truly deserve. You're getting this, like, there's a lot of people watching you at this present moment in time, Libra, where, like, there's a sense of, like, a couple people being romantically interested in you with the Nine of Cups, okay? This is someone being romantically inclined to want to get to know more about you, right? They see you as someone that's very founded, right? You have a very solid foundation and they find this something that they would like to incorporate into the equation of their life. Let's get more. Yeah, see, look at this. The Wheel of Fortune, right? <laughs> You've come full circle, right? You circled around the block. You said, what's up, right? You served your justice. Now you're in this emperor energy of just being a boss, strategically planning your next move, your next goal, right? You're in this divine masculine energy. It doesn't get higher than this, okay? You have the nine of cups, the star card, the wheel of fortune, the justice card, and the emperor. And we got a little touch, a little hint of love in here with some solid foundation. Right, this is <laughs> luckiness. You're lucky right now, Libra. Lucky. Oh, look at that. Look, this isn't just a someone, you know, interested. No, this is someone watching you closely. They see you as someone that they can like include, right, in their life for the rest of their life. This is a forever love. Right? But you're also that type of person, Libra, that you've gone to the place or that moment in life where you're just not so much about you know accepting any you're right you're not taking any or all applications right <laughs> you're only taking a few right the, the the main ones the ones that really stick out to you you're looking for something unique something uh exquisite right something unordinary you're not settling for anything less especially for those single libras out there that um Right, you've you've waited, you've waited some time, and you're not about to just fuck up your timeline just to, you know, have a quick little lover in your life. Uh, for those of you that are already within a relationship, there's this strong power energy of like, right, like justice being served on the relationship. It's almost like you're living the best time of your life. You're living the best moments of your relationship. Let's clarify the lovers here for Libra. Spirit, tell me more. Oh, look at this. Yeah, this is a higher level of commitment for self-love for my single Libras. And also for the ones in a relationship, this is a commitment. This is marriage. This is an engagement, right? Someone's putting a ring on your finger, right? They're making it this shit official. They're like, no, you know, I got to put a ring on it. She's mine mine and only mine right or if genders are reversed please flip it and reverse it 
Um, but yeah, with the Hierophant, wow, this is like a higher calling for love. A lot of you that have already been living within this self-love that are single Libras, because you have opened, because you have entered this like consistent flow of self-love right, in your life, you're now really extending and opening up to the idea of receiving love, right? While you're not taking open applications <laughs> to be your lover, you aren't necessarily opposed to receiving them, right? You may just stack them up in a drawer somewhere. But you will look at them eventually. With the strength card, we have the emperor clarified by the strength card. Look, you're within your power, right? You really claimed your power back. Um, this is admirable because you've been like, I mean, you may have grown up being this naive person, but through experience and through life, right? You've been able to really show that you symbolize strength, right? That you're someone that people can lean on, that someone can find inspiration and motivation to follow. Speaking of which, I'm going to introduce a motivational quote right here because this deserves a round of applause for those Libras that are just living in their strength and their true power. Get it? See, the thing I'm hearing here, Libra, is that there's a couple people that you were in a relationship with in the past, and now they're just looking at themselves like, damn, I really fucked up. I really let a good person go with a tower card, right? It's almost like whatever, like, bad energy they had, like, tried to place in your life, right? They really felt, or they really felt a moment in time, maybe a couple of years ago, that they really left you in this fucked up place, but no, 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 no. Look who's having the last laugh. You are Libra. You're within your divine power right now. You're living the best moments of your life. With the Six of Pentacles, this is a look at you. Just sitting back with your pentacle with that money. Just chilling, right? You don't really give a fuck, right? What other people may think because your bank account is continuing to stack. It's continuing to stack, look at this, the Wheel of Fortune with the King of Pentacles, right? It doesn't matter what people think or may perceive of you because your account is still stacking. And while money doesn't really represent or buy happiness or you know signify the Almighty, it does provide and you know result in the ability to live a more comfortable life. Um, let's clarify the Page of Pentacles for you, Libra. Yeah. See, now this person from your past is like, damn, Libra is really stepping up. Like, I'm really left in the dust. And as they should be, because, you know, you don't really cross a Libra. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, yeah, they're definitely not communicating with you. They're just kind of watching you and observing you from a distance. There's a lot of truth and clarity that has come into this past person that you were in a relationship, right? So if you may be questioning, like, how do they currently feel about me now, right? It's been so long. I mean, this is a person that you probably were in a relationship with, like, nine, nine years ago, 10 years ago, right? 16 years ago. These are numbers that stick out to me. 15 years ago, 18 years ago. I mean, this is someone from a long ass time ago. But yet that love, that connection has always kind of telepathically remained, right? So you may have not spoken because Libras, when you break up with someone, right? You're damn sure straight not speaking to them ever again in your entire life, right? Like you do not give a fuck, right? You're just, you're done, right? It's like you were over, like we're seriously over, right? You're never going to see me again. You're never going to be around me again, right? You're never going to hear my voice like immediately again, right? Like you definitely are making it clear that if it's over, it's over, right? Um, let's clarify the Knight of Cups here because this is like someone romantically, romantically new interested in you. Oh, look at this. This is some petty ass energy with the Five of Cups. Damn, yo, damn. <laughs> 
Oh, damn. I thought this was someone new, but no, actually. <laughs> uh, this, this is definitely love right here. But this right here, <laughs> this is that person I was talking about from your past. They're in this five of cups energy. Look at you. You're within the wheel, the justice, the emperor, the lovers, the hierophant, the strength card, and the Taurus card, or not the Taurus, the tower card, right? The star card, you're all in this all major arcana card and they're in this petty five of cups, right? Because they're just feeling petty about themselves for leaving you, Libra, right? They're petty, about, they're feeling petty for like making such a stupid decision in their life. Um, we have the three of wands. Yeah, look at this. They're in this energy of like, oh, it's like, it seems like everything that you're being gifted, right? It's almost like they're receiving that karmic energy in return, unfortunately, right? I would never really wish anyone to like experience bad moments in life, but it's just the reality of how things are, right? You think positively, you be positive, right? You treat others well, then you'll get that same back. But if you treat others, right, unjustly, if you treat others without actually mindfully keeping how your behavior may affect them in mind, then you're going to get that same energy in return. It's that universal law, right? It's the secret law of attraction. Uh, with the three of wands, okay, this person is within a relationship, FYI, but they feel like a lone wolf, right? I mean, it's almost like they got into this relationship thinking that they would have more prosperity and more financial freedom, but they're actually just miserable as fuck within this relationship with the Six of Swords, right? It's like they really feel like their specific or the partner that they're with is just a burden in their life, right? It's not someone that they're actually in love with. If anything, they're this this disgusted this tasteful with them all right now we have the death and rebirth card okay so you've gone through this full-on transformation libra look at you right just star glazing right just keeping your eyes on the stars always i mean at the beginning of your reading this is where we started and we continue to end and follow this energy as well it doesn't matter where darkness resides, you continue to be that stargazer, right? You have your binoculars, you have your telescope, you're always curious to know what continues beyond this galaxy, beyond this universe. Yeah, you're definitely popular at this moment in time, Libra, okay? You're being pulled in all different directions. A lot of people want to get to know you. They want to spend time with you. They really want to like peel back the layers of the, the complexity of who you are as a person, right? Because you're such a dynamic character. There's so much to be revealed with a Libra. I mean, you're not going to ever, ever really get like the full potential of what a Libra is until you spend years, if at that minimum, right? Look, oh, look at this final outcome, yo. The magician card with two, all right? The synchronicity here, right? The magician followed by the two, the high priestess, right? You're super resourceful. Look at you, Libra, damn. Ending with the high priestess, okay? Intuitively in tune, right? You're psychic, you're empathic, your healing abilities have really been strengthening, right? It's because you're tapping in into that holy energy. Um, this is you, <laughs> Look at you, just bossing up, sleeping, just receiving those collective messages. This is why you have this beautiful flow with words because it's not you speaking, it's your light body speaking, it's your spirit team speaking on your behalf. Um, a lot of you seem to have some type of clair ability, right? If it's, if it's clairaudient, clairvoyant, clairsentient, um, I can never remember the Claire for smell. But there's the Claire for smell too. Uh, we have the Four of Wands, uh, the Six of Pentacles, and damn, and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, so you're being asked here, Libra, to really be careful of who really is trying to come around, right? Some people are just trying to come around and come up off of you trying to come up off your energy, off your pinnacle, where you're heading in life, right? But there's need, like any friends that you have, there has to be this equal give and take of energy with the six of pentacles, right? 
where like if you give i will receive right if i give you will receive right it has to be this back and forth tag of energy being exchanged between two people it can't just be someone being like mischievous and shady behind your back right just holding that dagger waiting for the next inappropriate time to stab you in the back some people are really like trying to like have it out for you libra right because they can't stand you as a person they can't stand how you continue to evolve right it doesn't matter how much like shady bullshit they're doing to you they're just confused how they wish all this negativity on you and you're still coming up on top right and you're doing this with such ease and comfort that i mean to you it just has become second nature you're used to dealing with these haters you're used to dealing with this um uh, negativity from others right you know what hatred feels like libra um i mean more than you would like to know right page of cups look at you you still come from a place of heart if anything for those people that hate you you just feel sorry for them you wish i mean you're probably saying a prayer for them in your mind right wishing for them to get better um Right. I mean, if anything, like you don't like it doesn't matter what they say because, you know, you're so confident as a person, like, you know, who you are and where you're going. I mean, if anything, you're just like hoping that they can like free themselves from that negative self-talk and that jealousy and envy that they have and lock themselves up to and have shackled against a hidden enclosed mirror. Right. They feel like no one can tell that they have this energy. But you, Libra, you can. The King of Cups, right? You're still maintaining yourself grounded, spiritual, right? You're taking a deep breath in, right? Really inhaling positivity, success, you know, exhaling freedom and love back to the universe. Four of Wands in reverse and the world card. Yeah. So you have the world in your last position. Look at this. Abundance, right? You've really come full circle, right? I mean, several times in your life. You've had two peak moments in life, right? Where you've like evolved. Look at this timeline from the beginning, right? To the end. You just have so much experience, so much energy of... Uh, you know, struggling, overcoming, struggling, dealing with people that you wouldn't necessarily want to deal with in life. And then we end it with the world card here at the bottom. Oh, you can't see right here, but let me move this up for you. Okay, we got to the page of cups, the eight of swords, the king of cups, the four of thorns, the four of thorns, <laughs> the four of swords in reverse. I mean, it is like the four of thorns, right? Um, be careful, right? Because it seems wherever love comes, there seems to be hidden strings attached, right? Um, but the world, right? Abundance, opportunity, right? You're continuing to evolve. There's so much success for you, Libra. I mean, this is fame, fortune. This is prosperity, spiritual awakeness, right? Humble, this humble energy of just continuing to be in gratitude. And this is why you just continue being this divine light. Because it doesn't matter, right, what this world or what your higher power gifts you, right? I mean, they can gift you with the most uh, ego-centered energy, right? Like maybe like of a celebrity or of, you know, someone that's a politician, right? Someone that just lives within their self-ego all the time. But for you, right, it's like you would turn that fame, you would turn that pride, that ego into some type of humanitarian work where you would give back to those people that you so strongly know to struggle in life, right? Libra, you're all about giving back, right? I mean, trust, right? You may be crazy at times. You got a little loca, a little crazy up in you, but... You don't give a fuck. Like, you still continue to persevere, right? You're within this king of swords energy where you're going to continue to live your best truth, right? Eres loca, pero eres... Uh, eres loca, pero eres lista, okay? Like, you use your energy, your truth for the good. The better good of others. Look at this. The judgment card, right? 
the Nine of Swords. Ice skis, ice skis. I'm gonna end this reading right there. If this reading resonated with you, Libra, please comment down below. I'm going to be introducing a gift, okay? I'm gonna choose that random from all 12 zodiac signs to get a free personal reading. To qualify Libra, you must one, obviously be a subscriber. Number two, give this video a like. Number three, comment, timestamp this video. Tell me what part of this resonates or if all of it resonates, say all of it. You know, tell me, explain why. You don't have to get into too detail, right? If you don't wanna share like any personal information. But, and fourth, clip and share this video, right? So there's a clip option below each video where you can now clip this video. Almost create it like a short little TikTok video. And then you can share that to someone else, right? Send it to a family member through a text if you don't want like your social media knowing like exactly, you know, or if you like you have any lovers on social media and you don't want them knowing that you're getting tarot reading energy done on them. Um, if you would like a personal reading, my contact info is at the bottom or of this description. I've been, you know, staying pretty booked as of lately. Um, I, you know, I try to do at least two, three readings a week. Uh, for more information, email me and ask me and we can set that up, all right? Um, yeah, so those are the four requirements. At random, I will pick one and I'll comment on or reply on your comment. I ask you to email me so we can schedule you for the following week, okay? So that is my gift to you. Thank you uh, for all the love and support. If you want to support me at no cost, right? A lot of all the free things that you can do to support this channel and support me are by liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing this video. These videos, those are all free options of how you can support me and this channel. Uh, with that being said, Libra, I'm gonna introduce another motivational quote right here because there's never enough positivity to give you, Libra. I skis. Um, yeah, is there anything else I need to share with you all? No, that's it. All right? Much love, right? Stay out, roll up, circle around the block, do what you gotta do, make your presence known, check the people that need to be checked, handle the people that need to be handled, right? You're not up for any bullshit. Settle, settle your ways. Settle the people that need to be settled, handled. <laughs> All right? All right, much love. Peace.